Why is it so hard to forgive? Is it because forgiveness feels like giving in? Is it because it isn't fair? Maybe it's because you don't want to deal with the feelings that come to mind when you think about the person who hurt you. Whatever the reason, Jesus knows we struggle to forgive. And he actually offers some pretty practical advice. In Luke chapter 6, Jesus says, But I say to you who hear, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. To one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. At this moment in Luke's gospel, Jesus had just finished choosing his 12 disciples. And he's preparing them for the ministry to come. He offers the opposite of what you and I might call conventional wisdom and illustrates how life in the kingdom is different from life as many expect. Instead of encouraging them to defend themselves against attackers which would come, Jesus calls his disciples to take on a posture of humble mercy. Why? Because then they will be just like God who is merciful. They will also be just like Jesus who lived out this very teaching in his life. Although beaten and bruised, Jesus did not fight back, but instead forgave those who eventually killed him. Jesus models practical advice to teach our hearts how to love others, even in the face of hurt. It's an active choice to bless those who curse us, to pray for those who harm us, and to be generous toward those who steal from us. This does not mean that Jesus wants us to stay in harmful relationships. If you or someone you love is being abused, Jesus wants you to be rescued. He cares about your safety. You can always bless and pray for someone from afar. And when we do, when we bless and pray for those who hurt us, we may not see the immediate effects in others, but we can trust that God can use it to begin healing us and breaking the cycle of harm in them.